I was looking into these transformerless power supplies that are used in some of the portable equipment. This particular one here, I believe, similar to what they use in the kilowatt measuring device, that device that plugs into the wall and then you plug in a utility to it, to how much current, how much power, and so on that it draws. And this is how they power the internal electronics inside the device. I found it interesting to play around with here, some circuitry that, that I needed to make some projects with and didn't want to put a big power transformer in it. So I did some prototyping with the circuit just to see how things work. Okay, I built up the circuit here on the proto board. We're using a one and a half mic AC coupling capacitor with a 12 volt Zener blocking diode. Uh, actually, I'm using a 4007. That particular CR2 shown there is a surface mount. And a 220 mic filter cap. This one shows a 3.3 volt output. I'm going to try it with a 5 volt first just to see how much current I can get at 5 volts here out of the circuit. So I have it built up here on the proto board. The meters and everything hooked up. We'll see how much current I can get at 5 volts. Got the old Weston meter here with a variac. And way back in the corner is the isolation transformer. When you're working with this type of circuit, you definitely want to be isolated. Bring it up to 120 volts. Right now I'm at 28 milliamps, but at 2.65 volts, so load is not quite set right. So my load resistor is a little too much yet. So we're going to vary this until we get 5 volts. So it looks like the max would be 25 milliamps at 5 volts using this circuit. So next I'm going to increase the, the input capacitor here. I'm going to double it. Right now it's 1.5 microfarads. So I'm going to double it and then we'll see how much current we can get at 5 volts. Okay, I've doubled the capacitors. So now it'll be equivalent to 3 microfarads off the AC line coming in. So now I'm going to vary the load and I'll see how much current we can pull. It should be about double. So I'll start increasing the current until the 5 volts starts to drop. And drops at about 53-54 milliamps. So it practically doubled it. So at 5 volts you can build some small uh, low current circuits and have plenty of current there. Now I have a 3.3 volt low dropout regulator. What I have in the original schematic at the 3.29, 3.3 volt output. The max I was able to set the load was 23 mils. 23 to 24 mils. And if I increase that with the load resistor here, it starts to drop. So it's the same current threshold as the 5 volt regulator. So about all I can get out of it is 24 mils at 3.3 volts. So now I'll try doubling the cap and it's probably going to end up around the 50 to 54 mils like it was on the 5 volt. Okay, I've doubled the capacitors back to 3 microfarads. Now I will increase the current until the 3 volts drops. Okay, so same as the 5 volt. So it's about 54 milliamps. I'm going to take a look at some of the waveforms. Right now I've got the scope right here after the uh, 100 ohm resistor. The scope shows a square wave of 12 volts. So that would be the Zener voltage clamping the AC down coming in through the capacitor. Okay, now I'm going to look at this point here at the filter cap. See what the ripple is here. And we got about 1.2 volts of ripple there at the capacitor. Now we'll measure the output of the regulator for ripple. Right now it's at 3.3 .3 volt. 
And that's with the scope sensitivity all the way up and there's no ripple to be seen. So at least the circuit is clean coming out. I'll try the 5 volt regulator and see what that looks like with the output ripple. Okay, I have the 5 volt regulator now in the circuit. We're at the threshold, current threshold of the 24 mils, 25 mils with 5 volts out. And there's about 15 millivolts of ripple, which is no problem. So with the one and a half microfarad capacitor, the max out of this circuit is 25 milliamps. It would be nice if circuits worked at higher voltages because the power out is dependent on the size of the capacitor. It acts as a current source. If I regulate down to 3.3 volts, it still will only go to around 25 milliamps. So no matter what output voltage I regulate to, it's only good for 25 milliamps. So if I could run the circuits at 12 volts, which I could probably run a test for, I could get even more power, but everything would have to run at 12 volts. Of course, most circuits today need 3.3. There isn't even a lot of microcontrollers and so on that run at 5 volts anymore. By taking the regulator out, it's coming off this point here with the filter cap and the series diode. Just thought I'd try to see what the voltage and current would be here. There'll be more ripple, of course. We don't have this regulator to drop some of the ripple down, but anyway, it'll be an interesting test. Open circuit, we're at 11.93 volts. We'll put the load on it. Starting out with 22 mils at 10.7 volts. So if we adjust it to the 25 mils, which was the point of it collapsing with the 3.3 and the 5 volt regulators, and we can maintain 10 volts for quite a while here. Now it's starting to drop quite a bit. My load is going open here a little. can go a little higher without the regulators. Maybe 28 is a safe bet there. The ripple here is pretty high. So that cap would have to go quite a bit bigger if you were to come off the circuit directly to operate it a little bit less than 12 volts. I built this little light sensor circuit. It uses the cap coupled power supply off the line here about the same as the prototype I showed for 3.3 volts out. This circuit uses the AC switch I showed in another video with two SCRs and an opto in between and this switch is 120 volts on and off. This micro senses a, a photoresistor which is hooked to the input of the micro. I made this just for Christmas lights so it could sense darkness and lightness outside and it would turn the Christmas lights on and off. Also have a spot here for a opto as a relay. This all works on the 25 milliamps that's available here with a one and a half microfarad capacitor because the micro is pretty low current so there's not much current draw and these LEDs are only like a mil inside these optocouplers. This is the PC board for that project. You have the two SCRs here driven by the optocoupler, the little microcontroller, and the AC capacitor, input capacitor. And this circuit has to be isolated, of course, because it's hot to the line. These mounting holes are isolated from any of the circuitry on the board. This is kind of the final prototype of the project for the light sensor. The light sensor is right here. You see you get a red LED when you block the light to it. I wrote the software so when you start getting dusk or dawn, this could become kind of intermittent and you wouldn't want the lights flashing all the time. I think I got 30 seconds hysteresis in here. 
it has to actually be dark for 30 seconds. So once that LED stays on for good, the light will come on and stay on. And then the reverse is true. There the light came on. Then the reverse is true when there's light coming back into the circuit. It will shut off. So that's just a simple little circuit that uses the, the cap coupled power supply here. But it all has to be kept isolated because this board is hot to the line cord. And on the end here is just a, an outlet to plug the Christmas lights into. And I built a similar one for temperature sensor so it can turn on a heater to warm up pipes that might be in an area that, where they could freeze. You can use the same micro, only replace the light sensor with a thermistor. So this is the circuit that uses both the SCR switch and the cap-coupled transformerless power supply.